You have come to a beautiful garden deep within the forest. A stream flows gently in a loop around the central island. Feelings of peace and harmony permeate the area. Okay, this is another Arana's place. Now, I could dump the bonsai bush right there. I don't feel like it. By the way, this tree here, don't try to grab any of the fruit. You have to fetch it. Your magical lasso floats towards the tree and plucks a single ripe fruit from its branch. Okay, these here, these are our mana uh, potions. We only get one a day. Be careful with how you use magic. Let's see here. Detect magic. A soft magical aura permeates the entire garden. Strong magic emanates from the fruit tree. Alright. Trigger. Open. And fetch. You capture the scroll with your Fetch. As you read the scroll, knowledge of how to cast a protection spell enters your mind. Then the scroll vanishes. Protection is a sort of magical shield which will help guard you from physical attacks. Which is great against most of the basic enemies. You discover 30 crowns hidden there. You accept it as a gift from Nirvana. Hey, thanks. It doesn't and get some flowers. You pick a few of the beautiful flowers. That's all I'm going to need. Let's get the hell out of here. I assure you there's a legitimate reason why I'm saving putting that in, but right now it's not all that important. Right now I've got stuff to do in town, such as being accosted by the town's mayor. Because you're an asshole. You strangers come to Mordavia. I am the Burgomeister. It is my job to know everyone and everything that goes on here. Perfect. Here's my way of saying please eat a bag of dicks. Right, anyways. Uh... The Burgomeister stares at you suspiciously. I wasn't joking. This entire town's full of assholes. You tell the Burgomite. Do you expect me to believe such a story? That you could walk out of that cave alive? That the cave would be open? Tell me no more lies. Yeah, just wait until I'm casting spells at you. Jerk. He's also the sheriff, so don't screw with him. He's a jerk. This general store is cheery and well lit. Thanks to the warm heart, the first things that you notice are the cats. They seem to be everywhere. Perfect. Then you see the shopkeeper sitting on her rocking chair as she knits. She's a very, well, uh, sturdy looking woman. <coughs> oh, you're the stranger in town. <laughs> I've heard all about you already. By the way, all this stuff here, garlic. Cloves and cloves and cloves and cloves of garlic. Beautiful lines, aren't you? Uh, manners are as manners do, as my husband used to say. Wouldn't you? This is probably going to be a little slower than the usual LP speed of Quest for Glory, but you can't blame me. <laughs> You can call me Olga. Mrs. Stovich is uh, too formal after all. We don't welcome strangers here. They bring nothing but trouble. All the same, it's good to see a new face again. Okay, let's see. I need about three of these. One of these for those little balls of light, obviously. One of these, one of these, one of these, 
And about ten of these. One. First select. No, oh, screw you. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. husband and myself have run this shop for many, many years. My husband has passed on now, but I keep it just the way he liked it. A well-run shop is a busy shop, he always used to say. He's not dead. Not very busy anymore. What in the swamp? But I try to keep it going the best I can. Mostly housewares, but I get few items that uh, might interest you. What would you like to know about? She's also the rumor mill. Yeah, Bella's a good woman. She's the one who really runs the inn. Her husband just gives orders. Someday she'll give Yuri a piece of her mind and good for her. <laughs> the things she puts up with. Bella, she was a pretty woman not long ago. Was not called Bella for nothing. Losing her only child really aged her. What a tragedy. I have the feeling we're going to be involved with that. The castle north of town was abandoned for many years. Then, some strangers moved in four years ago. No one knows what goes on there now. But it won't be for the good, I'll tell you. Accurate. Werewolves are gypsies, no question about it. They change into witch at night. Nothing can kill a werewolf but silver or magic. So be careful out in the woods at night. You hear me? The gypsy camp is not at all that far from here. Partially true. That is a bad place, and you'd better have nothing to do with it. It is dangerous and should have been torn down long ago. Many strangers never came back after asking questions about it. So don't let your curiosity be the death of you. Perfect. Right, let's get the hell out of here. We don't need anything more. Or, as my dear departed Boris used to say, may the wind blow fair at your back. That's nice. Well, let's get a room at the inn. I'm pretty sure we're going to need it. I've entered a small but nicely furnished country inn. Stairs lead up to the guest bedroom. The floor is covered with sawdust and peanut shell. A barrel contains the few shells that managed to land in it. The innkeeper stares at you with an expression of fear and astonishment. It is several seconds before he speaks. This is the Hotel Mordania. Rooms here are 15 kopecks for room and board. Pay for one week in advance. Your room will be the first room at the top of the stairs. Uh, we want food in the morning or evening. Just sit down over there by the door. You're only... Pay the innkeeper for your room and board. Thank you for your payment. You're only going to get about two meals a day, so make the boast of it. It's sausage and peppers fried with garlic. That actually sounds pretty good. All right, let's get the hell out of here. We don't really need anything here. So, you are still around, are you? When are you leaving Mordalia? Well, I put you six feet under the ground, you old bastard. As you enter the northern part of the town, you hear the sound of a chisel chipping away at a stone block. A man is carving gravestones at one end of the street. Your attention quickly moves from the stone carver to the ominous gothic building in the center of the street. There is definitely something not right about this structure. I could have told you that right here and now. <laughs> 